Why don't you let everybody in then as well, seating plans come into play. In the ideal world for a supply teacher in particular, but also for a new teacher of the school, teaching a new group that they don't know, I believe that the school should provide them with a seating plan with images. We all know that students will play up. They will sit in a seat where they know they shouldn't sit. They, sh they will give a name that isn't theirs. Really, these are students being students. And, 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 and why, I don't know. I've spoken to students for years as to why they do this to new teachers, why they do this to supply teachers. And they just say, because that's what we do. Well, we can change that if we're just a little bit ahead of the game. And the schools can support you in this by giving you a seating plan with images. But if the school doesn't supply you with that, then please ask. And hopefully by asking all the time, schools that don't do it may then start doing it because it is of vital importance. Seating plans cause a lot of frustration and friction between students and teachers. Students want to sit with their peer groups. Often that is not the best way to run the, your class and to deliver your teaching. So you have to take control and you have to let the students know that students will sit where you want them to sit. But as a supply teacher, that's very difficult. So you really just have to rely on the information that's given to you. And I'll just repeat again, because it's important. If you're not provided with a seating plan, ask for one, because that's only fair to you. If you don't have one though, and you're a new teacher, and it's a bit late to ask for one at that present moment in time, my advice would be just to let the students go in and see where they sit. You've already started to note things in your mind whilst doing the meet and greet about which peer groups are which, which are going to play you up a little bit, which aren't going to play you up a little bit. But what you do need to do is speak to them and let them know that during that period, and certainly over the next few periods, you will work with them and you will develop a seating plan that everybody will fully understand. And unfortunately that might be the best you can do, but that must be very much in your mind. Right from your first lesson, let the students know they are not going to dictate where they sit. Even if it means they've scagged you for a lesson, they've skanked you for a lesson, they've got to sit next to their best mate, that no other teacher lets them sit next to for a lesson. As long as you've told them that you are going to resolve this, you haven't lost any face. In fact, you can use it to gain their respect. 